everyone, welcome back to Obsessive Prep Raisy. Today we've got a air fryer review. Got my son Austin here with me. AKA Mac Daddy Supremo, follow me on TikTok. <laughs> we are going to do a review on an air fryer from Wista. The brand is Wista, W-E-E-S-T-A. Last year they sent me this air fryer. Now these, I did not purchase them. They sent them to me and they wanted us to do a review on the air fryer. So we've had this one for about a year and a half. I will leave the thumbnail also over here for you if you want to see the review on that, that air fryer. But they updated their air fryer now and it's pretty amazing. It we, we like our air fryers. They, they've changed the model. Um, what they've done here is it's a bigger unit altogether. The difference between the two units is this is an inch taller. So they went down in size and height, but they also went wider on the side. So this is their new size rack. Let's put it for example. Yeah, go ahead and take it up front so they can see the difference in the sizes. Turn it over. Here's the uh, old one Yeah. on top of the new one. So, I mean, so by far, pretty much big bigger. difference. Yeah. Then also the rack difference. So obviously you've got pans. And that's the different size on the pan, the drip pan or the screen, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the drip pan is even quite a bit bigger. I mean, everything about this unit compared to the old one is big difference. We've got something in there that needs to get cleaned. Anyways, so they sent this air fryer to us, the older model. We've got the newer model now, and so we're gonna go ahead and do some different recipes so you can see how it turns out. What did you notice the, the biggest difference on this model versus that model? Honestly, so far, biggest difference I've noticed is size, for one. Um, other than that, I think, on this one, they've got a little bit more of like pictures going around the knobs to um, show you different settings. Um, this one, I like you can turn on just the top burner or just the bottom burner or have on both or have the fan on or have the fan on. There's just, there's a lot more different options on the newer model compared to the older model. As if you can tell, there's a whole extra knob set, setting on this one. Yeah compared to the older. And then what, what's great about the new model is like my husband comes home from work late at night and he tries to heat things up. He is by far not a cook. So he'll do egg rolls or pizza rolls, pizza. And then in a traditional air fryer, it will kind of burn the outside before it actually cooks on the inside. So I like the, the possibility of being able to adjust. And it's more like an oven, yeah. but it's an air fryer. It's, I mean, it, it's both. It does have an oven feature and the air fryer feature. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it does have the best of both worlds. So they basically send you this little pamphlet. I mean, air fryers are pretty self-explanatory. It just gives you the directions on what to do. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is get things put away and start on some different recipes. We're gonna make it an appetizer dinner for us tonight. And we'll show you some of the things that we like to cook into the air fryer. So let's get cooking. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get to cooking. What we wanted to show you to start with, it's going to be appetizer night. We've got a bunch of things up here we're going to air fry. We figured it was going to be easy, but we wanted to start with a couple recipes that we actually love to do in the air fryer. Now those artichoke hearts are from Trader Joe's. This is the can of artichokes. They're amazing. They do sell frozen ones at Trader Joe's, but if you want to truly if you want a true whole artichoke heart, give the, you can take that up there and show them those artichoke hearts. Yeah. They're beautiful, beautiful artichokes out of a can. So what we do is we drain the artichoke hearts on the paper towel. We get all the moisture off and then we take olive oil. You want to go ahead and yeah, so do that up? Drizzle some olive oil on there. Yeah. Go Put them in the them air with fryer. A little bit of garlic salt. Garlic salt. You don't have to use the salt. You can just use regular garlic. We've got that also. A little bit of garlic because who doesn't love garlic? And then hit it with Parmesan. 
Now what's nice about this air fryer is that it is so much more space to work with. I really am happy because we'll show you another recipe that we do with green beans. And trying to get the whole bag on the other unit, it fits a little tight. So it's nice to have this newer model. I'm going to sit those on there all in a row. And what are we going to cook these at? How many minutes generally like? 20. <laughs> About 12, 15 minutes. Here's our entertainer here. The tray here, we're going to go ahead and pop them in the air fryer. Go ahead and turn it on up to, here we go. We have it at 450 right now. We're going to toss these on at about, say, 10 minutes to start. We'll just kind of take a take a look at them here in about five minutes or so and see how they're doing and see how this new air fryer is kind of working out for us. So one thing we've definitely noticed so far with this newer model is that it's a lot quieter than you can't hear it. almost any air fryer we've ever used. And um, we've bought multiple different air fryers for all sorts of different companies and a couple of them have failed. and. So far, the Wista brand's like the best one to review. It is. That, that, the one model, he's actually excited because I'm keeping this one and I'm going to give him that model. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And you know, you have a lot of times where you have off-brand kind of units. You kind of question if they're, they're going to work or they're going to last. So I've had things over the years, coffee makers that worked real well and then just burn out. And uh, the old model, I have to say, I mean, two thumbs up for that one, but excited for this one. It still runs like first day we got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything's washable. We throw it in the dishwasher, clean it up. It's They are great little units. And for what, $159.95? Most models this size that you're looking that can do this are 200 plus. And so, uh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and let this do it, and then we'll check in with you when we get to the five minute mark. All right, so we're at about five minutes. Let's go ahead and pull them on out to what they look like. Oh, look at that. Yummy. Beautiful already. We're Yummy. just going to go ahead and turn these aside. Go ahead and whip the sauce together. A little bit of mayo with some pepper and garlic and some lemon juice and which comes to a great dipping sauce for these. So another great and easy meal and I'm pushing Trader Joe's because I love certain Trader Joe's products is their green beans. They're in the freezer section. What I will do with their green beans in the air fryer is I will pour the entire, I, I cook for a whole family and I like to be able to have leftovers of the green beans. And I just recently lost 20 pounds and a lot of it had to do with keto. So I'll throw you a couple things out that I do in the air fryer that are just straight without carbs and a great little meal. So I've got my green beans in here. And then what I'll do is I'll pour a bunch of olive oil on my green beans. And the one thing I always have on hand is I take my bacon fat I'll strain it and I'll pour it into a mason jar. So I will put probably, I don't know, about that much of bacon fat. Now, if you don't want to use bacon fat, that's strictly up to you. I love it. I like what it does for a taste for the green beans. I will add some Lowry's garlic salt. I will also add the Tony's seasoning to it. And I like a spicy green bean. I will also use some garlic, just regular garlic. I'll mix this up and I'll get it in a tray and then when the, uh, the uh, artichoke carts get done, we'll get this in the air fryer and we'll show you how they turn out. All right, so another thing on the menu tonight is some fish sticks, some spicy chicken tenders, and some waffle fries for the the freezer section. And by all means, we do not eat like this. We're just doing this for the air fryer. Oh, eat like this. <laughs> so our timer just went off. We're gonna go ahead and pull these out. Oh yeah, two more minutes on them. Put a nice crisp. So I'm just gonna set these to the side for one second and go ahead and toss in our green beans. 
and we're going to air fry those for about eight minutes and then toss them one more time. I love these. I'm looking forward and to it. We will have our first try. Now you can use tin foil in your pans. It makes it easy cleanup. Um, we have used it without the tin foil. Clean it, get it in the dishwasher, and they work out great. Um, so, yeah. Do it again. Probably gonna burn my mouth. <laughs> so those were hot again if you want to cut them into half so you can have a crispier artichoke it's strictly up to you but doing artichoke hearts in the uh, air fryer are you still hot you're still trying to choke that one down i love artichokes this is great this is great for keto too if you're trying to lose weight Amazing. The steam is coming off of it. So, this fryer definitely left a nice crisp on the outside of these artichoke hearts. And it also cooked the inside nice and thoroughly. So, you have a nice, moist inside with a crunchy outer layer. <laughs> so we're not done with the green beans yet, but our artichokes are already gone. Those were delicious. Mm, all right. So definitely one nice feature of the Wista air fryer is you have multiple racks. So we have our green beans going already. And now we can toss in all of our freezer section foods right below it. We got everything going at once. All right, so we're gonna pull out the green beans for now and go ahead and give them a toss. I don't know, if you're anything like us, we like some crunchy tipped green beans. Uh, so some of it is like, it's like yeah. perfect and then some have a little crunch on the end. So really this unit is amazing because it is not just an air fryer. It bakes, it grills, you can definitely, it's a convection oven. And so if for us here in Arizona, instead of turning on your large oven, cooking, heating up your house, it, this is a lifesaver as far as air. And I know people like make jokes of like, oh no, who didn't buy an air fryer in the last year? But really, Honestly, it saves money and it saves your house from heating up and it does everything that your regular oven does other than it does air fry and that is amazing when you can take any kind of product and get a nice crisp on it. There's lots of times where we come home from like fast food, uh, let's call it Burger King, and the food is cold by the time we get home. We throw our french fries we in, we toast it. Fries. The other day you reheated, he reheated a, a sub sandwich, yeah. got it crispy. Mm -hmm. So little things like that, and it's like just an amped up version mm -hmm. of a toaster oven, but does way so much more. So the green beans are completely done. It's a must try. I love these Trader Joe green beans. I will sit there and just eat them for like it'll be a two day meal for me. Some of them are crispy, keto friendly. I'm gonna sit here and eat them all. <laughs> They're very good. And then down here below, another great feature is if you're trying to toast anything, it's got a toasting feature to it, which always is amazing. Got some buns in here toasted. We've got our chick, boneless chicken wings in here. Waffle, Waffle fries that are crispy. Some fish sticks, gonna make some fish sandwiches for the grandson. Anyways, great little air fryer. We wanna thank Wista for letting us do this review. Um, I do believe that this is a better model just because of the size. 
Um, it does help when you can put more food in it and cook for a larger family. Definitely worth the money. We hope you enjoyed this video. Anything else you want to say about it? Honestly, I think both models are great. Um, this one works better for her because she does cook for an army. <laughs> um, but the smaller model, I mean, it does just fine for me too. So, I mean, honestly, I think they're both great. Great yeah. company. Yeah. Again, we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified for future videos, ring the bell. Ding, ding. Thanks. Cinda. So we're gonna throw another quick and easy recipe out for you. Now, you can purchase canned chicken in a can like this. I can my own chicken. Easy, wonderful to use. I'll leave the, uh, the clip up here for you if you wanna see how to can your own chicken. But you open up the can, drain the liquid, put it in a bowl, add an egg, some good shredded cheese. You can do uh, mozzarella, you can do mixed sharp cheddar cheese. Put that in there. Then you can either use your red hot liquid hot sauce or the dry. I like the dry personally. Mix that all up and then use a scoop, something similar to a scoop like this. Scoop it out onto your trays, pat it down, and you can make your own little chicken nuggets. Great keto item. If you want to have some kind of crumb coat on it, go ahead and mix that up. Put your scoop into almond flour, rub, rub some almond flour on it, then put it on the tray and then smash it down. This will make an easy, quick meal, great for keto. So another little quick idea for you for your uh, air fryer.